Hi all, and uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bog. Uh, today's video is going to be about a green green light hitch and tow, a 1943 Willys MB Jeep with a quarter ton cargo trailer uh, from in series 22. You get the Jeep, uh, a Ford uh, 76 Ford F. A 150 uh, Ranger you got an 86 Chevy and a 1990 Chevy Blazer uh, now uh, earlier I released a, a video on a an M2 Jeep uh, which is uh, this a uh, nice yellow one here and I wasn't entirely sure uh, why it was yellow or what all of it was for uh, but uh, a good friend of our, of our in our community uh, Rick from a uh, whole lot of Zep uh, commented and gave me lots of information on the reason for the color and the writing and he said there's also various other versions of it uh, the reason for the coloring was uh, for I think it was landing uh, airplanes so they would be able to notice it a lot easier and there was other various different versions of it and you know that, that's one thing you gotta say about this community it's it's amazing for when you there's something you don't know there's somebody else that does and I'm very grateful for uh, uh, to Rick from a whole lot of Zep to uh, to give me that information because we were mes messaging back and forth so that helped out quite a lot and in the process he made uh, a video on it and describing the different variations and versions from M2 uh, Greenlight and Johnny Lightning so what I'll do is I'll link his channel in the description below including that video so you could see for yourselves the difference and he does an excellent explanation of why they have that color the way it is but what i'll do is i'll uh open up the green light i'll set it up with the uh with everything and we'll take a closer look at it all right ladies and gentlemen i'm back and this is green light's beautiful little little jeep and they've done a very good job on it uh, as much as I appreciate a uh, green light giving us the the little screw there to prop the trailer up it'd probably be a little bit better if they would just do it themselves so this way they could see that sometimes that thing does not screw in very well uh, luckily this one kind of did but in the process it does eat away at the paint there and kind of cracks the paint at this point there but other than that it's uh, you know very nicely done Jeep the the differences between the two are uh, fairly fairly good but what I'll do is I'll uncouple the trailer and we can look at the trailer itself as you can see it it uh, see if we could focus here a bit and there we go we got the ball screw and this one does turn in uh, f uh, fairly well it 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 does seem quite sloppy kind of but the trailer is metal uh, all the way through with the nice rubber tires and I guess period correct rims it does have very nice detail around uh, the lights painted on light detail all the way around so it is a very nicely done little trailer but I'll put that aside and we'll take a nice closer look at the Jeep itself 
and it is a very nicely uh, done Jeep rubber tires metal body metal base unlike the M2 if you could see here the the canopy itself is riveted down so you can't really undo it what uh, green light really not, likes to do is you could actually remove this and uh, the clever way that they've done this is it's actually a piece of a clear clear uh, extruded uh, a piece of plastic but then it's just been painted over to so you could see so it's like a glass it would be like a, a glass material but it's nicely painted over you know it's has a little bit of nice ribbing but the Jeep itself looks actually quite nice without the top uh, neither one uh, the windscreen goes down but uh, this one on its own if we take a look at it you could see it's I'm going to pull, pull out a little bit so we can get a nicer look here as you can see it's very nicely done the interior is nicely done steering wheel is bit further away than the M2 version is so that's really really good nice painted detail on the uh, the, the shovel and the axe nice little details on the front and rear unlike the M2 version which has a cage around the spare tire and the a gas tank the green lights doesn't have a mirror but I could only assume that's also period correct and but together the stance as you can see as I'll put them together so we could take a a nice close look of both of them at the same time the stance of both models is actually quite nice the rims and tires are really good really nicely done and if we see if the wheel bases are nearly nearly the same so it's they work out quite nice this one is slightly longer than this one but that could be a different year this one's a 43 that one's a 44 as you can see it just clicks in nicely the the old uh, uh, the the top and it does look very good uh, I, I'm not sure if uh, uh, Rick uh, Zep, a uh, whole lot of Zep, took this one out of the package yet. If you didn't, Rick, at least you know you could see what it looks like now, so you can keep yours in a package if you'd like, so you don't have to worry about it. But this is, I think, a very nicely done little military Jeep, and I'm happy I picked this one up. I have one of the the Johnny Lightnings uh, ordered, so hopefully I'll be getting that one in soon. But he also showed a twin twin pack from M2, which is on the the Lift series. So uh, if you get a chance to check out his videos on it, uh, you'll be uh, very happy you did. Uh, but anyways, that's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank everybody for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video.